Alright folks, welcome back. It is Bobo the Vulture. It is Let's Play Rolling Thunder. And it is... I think this is stage 5, is that right? I'm asking y'all like you would know better than I do. I'm the one sitting here playing the darn thing. Wow. I'm gonna say that was all skill, and let you sort of sit back and know the truth for yourselves. Are you gonna throw grenades? Oh yeah, you are gonna throw grenades. Oh, look at... Th <laughs> I love how that phantom, uh, you know, ghost ninja clansman just sort of was like, Ah, oh, I see this guy is dead and floating in the air, I'm gonna punch the hell out of him! That is the determination that makes the ninja clan. Not like the foot clan, not to be confused. With, like, the foot clan. Wow. They're just. This game is all about, like, putting characters and making them appear, like, two inches away from your face. And that being your main warning that, hey, there are enemies around. Yeah, why don't you jump high in the air there, crazy ninja man? Ah, too slow, Joe. Oh, this... This is ridiculous. Check this out. So I try and jump up there. Yeah. I get hit. <laughs> you have to precisely aim your jump so that uh, you can land on this because you can't control how far you jump, if you will recall. You know what? Nope. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the thing to do. I actually got really confused there for a minute because that first grenade didn't hit me in the face. I honestly don't know what to do in this scenario. This guy that has the unlimited supply of grenades really seems to have a slight advantage on me. Actually, these two guys that have an unlimited supply of grenades really seem to have kind of an advantage on me. Oh wait, that guy's not... Oh, he is dead. Oh! Look at it! He just dropped out of the sky! No! I'm not even sure if it's worth going into that room for just one bullet. Also, I have maximum regular gun bullets. Alright, that guy actually seems surprisingly easy to deal with. This is one of those games where when you come across an individual enemy that's easy to kill, you get really... you get really nervous that you're missing something. I know I took a hit there, but, uh, maybe we'll be able to... <laughs> yeah, I really was able to make it a long way with... Wow. I'm just gonna sit there and use an into. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. You know what? Now that we've accomplished that, let's. Oh 
Okay, maybe that's the thing to do. And hey, why not come over here, buddy? Huh, that went surprisingly whoa. That went surprisingly well. Oh, no fair. Just walking along, some guy shoots me in the crotch. How can you ever be ready for the bullet coming straight at your crotch? I mean, I've heard of a bullet having my name on it. But really, straight on for my... And trolls <laughs> and crotch bullets. <clears throat> Wait a second. Hey, I'm at the control room. I wonder whether or not that girl is being, you know, kidnapped slash assaulted someplace around here. This is sort of like Red Dragon. I wonder if Strider Maddox around here somewhere. Oh my! Wrong Thunder God! We got your girl over here and I got my Ku Klux Klansman! Damn it, Paul! Also that guy has grenades! It would probably be to your advantage to avoid them. All of a sudden, uh, Strider Matic has turned out to be really helpful here, even though I was suggesting he was uh, in league with the Rolling Thunder terrorist slash Klansman. Maybe I really don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Whoa, story one is clear. So what's going to happen to the girl? Whoa, what have they done to her? Oh, I see. It's that guy down there that's uh, busting a move. Well, folks, I guess uh, next time we are going to start on Story 2. So, Story 1, what was the moral of the story? Pretty much, uh, don't trust clansmen. They will kidnap women and do things. Anyhow, yeah, creepy. I'm uh, Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Rolling Thunder. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.